land of enchanting geology and amazing caves. It has this wonderful character of being able to record important events of the history of Earth and its habitants. The fossils here are unique, you know? Amazing, unmatchable variety of caves you can explore and study. Beautiful wadis and canyons, different types of coast. Some are mountainous, sandy or lagoonal. They are really world class. Mountain terrains are fabulous. The desert has its wonders and mysteries. On this land, there is a lot to discover. There is a lot to research. There is a lot to add to science. We've been exploring and documenting caves for over five years in Oman. Every day, our passion for this dangerous but very fascinating adventures increases. It's really hard to stop. The Oman Cave Exploration Team has documented hundreds of caves in Oman during this time. We will publish at least 100 of these in a book very soon. But we will not stop at this point. We know that there are many others waiting for us out there. Oman is divided to various geological terrains. Each terrain has its marvels and attractions. The main ones are Al Jabal Akhdar and Jabal Shams. Musandam and Jabal Abyad are also amazing in the north. There are also the Dufar Mountains in the south. Between the north and the south mountains lies a vast desert plain. Wind and water sculptured over millions of years. Uh, rocks and land into amazing shapes. When we go caving, we have to be well equipped. No room for mistakes. All gear should be checked and prepared. Sometimes we walk long distance carrying heavy bags, but the reward can be worth it. For new undocumented caves, the entrance can be mysterious. We plan and ensure the safety measures are in place. We start by removing any potentially falling rocks. We drill for anchors and ports. Check the system is good and install the ropes. All sorts of mysteries can be waiting you down there, including these and loads of these. Perhaps the most famous part of the chain of Jebel Akhtar is the Mountain of the Sun. Jebel Shams, standing more than three kilometers above sea level and exposing hundreds of meters of carbonate rocks. The rocks that we see here are similar to the rocks that we see in our petroleum reservoirs in the subsurface of Oman. This is the effect of tectonics, the earth plate movements. On its sides, this mountain chain reveals an integrated system of valleys and some beautiful villages. Amazingly, at this high point, different fossils of sea animals can be seen. Shallow sea corals, fish bones and teeth, sponges, We listed about 40 major caves 
in al jabal al akta the most famous are hail al diyar amar kif and al saqf there are many more but we had to choose and they have beautiful cave formations Some were used as houses. We make maps and sections of caves. And in many cases 3D maps also. This is a large cave room. You enter from top. You can see all the details of the cave. We have amazing team members. Some prepare their routes. Like Nabil Azakwani, the coach. During our long trips, we can. In the morning, we make sure we have a good breakfast. Tea and coffee are important. Al Jabal Al Abiyad, or the White Mountain, is located in the northeast corner of Oman. The mountain stands about 2,000 meters above sea overlooking the Sea of Oman. It is composed of light-colored carbonate rocks. That's why it's called the White Mountain or Jabal Abiyat. These rocks are prone to dissolution and weathering. Therefore, large cave systems form. One of the most famous caves here is Majlis al-Jinn, one of the largest cave chambers in the world. Here you see the top entrances of the cave. The chamber is about 150 meters deep and more than 300 meters long. The caves in Al Jabal Abiyad include beautiful speleothems that formed during wet climatic periods over thousands of years. Oman's world unique wonder, the best exposed oceanic plate in the world. It was pushed by tectonic forces on top of the land of Oman some 90 million years ago. Carrying with it details of the ocean floor with its volcanics and colorful deposits. Since the end of the Neolithic and the Bronze Age, the Ophiolite provided Oman with copper ore. This copper was exported to Mesopotamia, modern Iraq today. In other places in the world, they called Oman as Majan, the land of copper. The mining was done in very harsh conditions. Ancient tombs and castles across Oman stand as a witness of this amazing civilization. The process of Ophiolite emplacement and its relevant movement led to the formation of amazing structures in the Oman mountains. The Bufar Mountains are located in South Oman. They are cut by massive cliffs on the southern side. From winter to summer, the mountain undergo a massive transformation of climate. This is because of the summer monsoon from the Indian Ocean. A lot of rain falls. As a result, the area gets covered by a green lush. 
The carbonate units here dissolve and form massive sinkholes and caves. Many small caves and shelters contain ancient scripts and drawing. The desert of Oman includes a wide variety of wonders. The rock garden in East Central Oman is one of them. Weathering and erosion shaped rocks into amazing shapes. Also these beautiful pink lakes that form when the salinity of water increases. It increases multiple times more than that of sea water, promoting certain types of bacteria, algae and fungi to flourish, causing the production of a pink pigment. Sand dunes cover a large area of central Oman. The composition of these sand dunes vary. Those rich in carbonate grains tend to be white in color. Deposits of ancient lakes are found within sand dunes. Around them, humans once lived, since thousands of years ago. They left the tools they used scattered around these lakes and springs to tell us about their lifestyles. The sand dunes and desert plains hide also amazing marine fossil sites as well as fossils of petrified wood in grooves induced by glacial events, probably some 300 million years ago or so. They also left behind exposures of very old rock deposits and structures. One can see here the pyramids with the Sphinx, sculptured by wind. In such harsh conditions, oases and water springs provide a refugal for people. People in Oman were experienced fishermen since at least the Neolithic, several thousands of years ago. This was only a short presentation of the geological wonders and cave marvels of Oman. There is a lot to share, there is a lot to find, there is a lot to discover here.